Hello everyone and welcome to the Gumpla Network. I'm the Spicer and this special report is brought to you by Canadian Gundam. With flat rate shipping in the US and Canada, they're a great one-stop shop for all your Plamo needs. When you place your order, you use the promo code Gumpla Network for 10% off. Now into the special report version of the news. Starting us off, we have the Gumpla 40th Anniversary Campaign for 2020. The campaign everywhere else in the world but the US is going to run from July 1st to November 30th, within the US from August 1st to December 31st. There are three different groups of prizes you can win. In Corsay, which will have a total of 10 winners, it's going to be the Gumpla 40th Anniversary Perfect Builder Set, which is going to come with a set of tools, an apron, and a poster. In Course B, which is also going to have 10 winners, you've got the Gumpla 40th Anniversary Showcase, which is a nice glass display case with built-in light fixtures. And in Course C, which will have 96 winners, the high-grade RX-78-2 Beyond Global Gundam Glow-in-the-Dark version, which to my knowledge is purely exclusive to this campaign. Now, how do you enter and how do you win? Well, those are great questions. First off, the first step in this is the campaign card itself. These will be distributed for free at different hobby stores, toy stores, and events. You just have to be there to get the card. Step two, if you don't have a Bandai Namco ID, you need to get one. If you already have one, you're all good. If you're setting one up though, do use your correct country. If you select the US, you're not, it's not going to show up for you because the campaign's not running in the US at the moment. After you sign in, click at the top of the page where it says enter or entry. Um, that will allow you to look at everything and enter your contact information in full. Incomplete entries will be disqualified. Step four, participants must confirm the campaign terms and conditions. Simply fill in the survey and include the following uh, that will include the following questions. Which Bandai product did you purchase? Purchase location and where you received the information from and so on. Step five, input of the 16 unique digit serial code from the lucky draw card, the event card that you had received from either the store or the event. Each of these are unique and are only assigned to certain regions. So if you set your country to the wrong thing and you put a different region card in, it won't work. And step six, eligible participants must be shown on records page. Winners of the uh, campaign itself will need to have their Bandai Namco account active and valid with no issues. And all registered data recorded by the Lucky Draw server will be used and treated as final. So if you're moving in this process, you might want to consider putting your new address in versus your old one or vice versa if anything crazy like that happens. Now, there are some disclaimers here. Winners will be drawn randomly by a computer system. The Lucky Draw results will be announced at the Bandai Spirits Lucky Draw website. Winners will be notified by email or phone within one month of the Lucky Draw end date about prize redemption. Winners Bandai Namco ID must be valid during the campaign period and at the time of redemption. Winners are required to show valid Lucky Draw serial cards, so don't throw them away, and valid identification documents when they collect prizes and must collect them at specified places within a specific period. Winners who do not comply will forfeit the right to receive the prize. All other expenses related to the prize are responsible for the winner. All prizes are not transferable or exchangeable for cash or other goods. Bandai Spirits is not the supplier of the prizes from course A and B. Any inquiry or complaint regarding the quality of the product or related services will be directed to the appropriate suppliers. Bandai Spirits assumes no liability in this respect. Bandai Spirits are not liable for any loss or damage suffered or any personal injury as a result of accepting or using any of these prizes. If any registered members violate any rules or commit any illegal acts that result in the loss on the part of the Bandai Spirits or any of the third parties, they are liable for all liability of those actions. Bandai Spirits reserves the right to interpret the terms and conditions 
and any disputes arising from this will be Bandai's final decision. And any images you see are purely for illustrative purposes. All of that being said, if you set up your account right, you don't do anything crazy, you'll be fine. Now, we have a lot of other really exciting stuff, such as the Master Grade EX Unicorn Gundam for a Ka, which is a 1-100 scale model kit. With a release date that has not been announced yet, but a price tag of 23,000 yen, this is going to be one expensive Master Grade. The LEDs that are going to be built into the frame can change colors from red to green, and mecha designer Kotoki Hajima has also updated the proportions of the Unicorn Gundam. This is also going to come with a uh, showcase for a more anime accurate design. We also have the high grade build divers re-rise Gundam 00 Sky New Form, which is a tentative name, set to release in November of 2020 for a price tag of 2,400 Japanese yen. The GN 00 DVR slash S Gundam 00 Sky is a take on the 00 Gundam from Gundam Build Divers. While no name has been given to this specific set of equipment, it is donning a new color scheme and has updated weapons for both melee and ranged attacks. We have the P Bandai High Grade Dauntress set to release in October of 2020 for a price tag of 1,320 Japanese yen. The DT6800A Dauntress is the GM or just the general grunt suit of the After War Gundam X series. The Dauntress was developed by the United Nations Earth Forces before and after the devastating Seventh Space War in which the Space Revolutionary Army dropped a bunch of colonies on the Earth. These are pretty generic mobile suits, but they do have their own charm and their really strange looking three camera head setup. They are definitely a great army builder. We also have the P Bandai High Grade Gundam Airmaster Burst, set to release in October of 2020 for a price tag of 2,420 Japanese yen. The GW9800B Gundam Airmaster Burst is an upgraded version of the GW9800 Gundam Airmaster featured in After War Gundam X. Piloted by Vulture Witsu, this variable fighter mobile suit is not only a threat in the air but on the ground as well while in mobile suit mode. Of course, this Wave Rider inspired mode was a carryover from Zeta and Gundam Wing. However, it does stand on its own and is even featured in Gundam Build Fighters Try. And we also have the Gundam Base Limited High Grade Build Divers Rerise Core Gundam G3 V2 Unit Dive into the Dimensions Clear version, set to release in July of 2020 for a price tag of 1,650 Japanese yen. The PFF X7 V2 V2 Gundam comes to us from Gundam Build Divers Rerise and is the heavy weapons variant of the core Gundam's many forms. Sporting a green color scheme and a lot of extra weapons, this mobile suit is dangerous at mid to close range. This clear version also gives you somewhat of that Plofsky particle type vibe and generally looks pretty cool for a somewhat tame looking suit and that has been this special report let us know in the comments down below what you're most excited about i am definitely looking forward to that dauntress just wish it wasn't p bandai and of course if you've not checked out any of our other videos definitely do be sure to we've got a lot of other content outside of just the news we're also over on facebook instagram and our own website where the news is dropped as soon as it comes out if you like Gunpla Network and want to support us, be sure to stop by our Teespring store so you can get a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker, or a sweatshirt. This has been a special report on the Gunpla Network. I've been the Spicer, and as always, keep on building.